Cars PH. Hybrid cars like the GWM Haval Jolion uses less fuel so it saves us money. But with that, it costs more than a price of a regular petrol car. Sa episode na ito, samahan nyo ako as we explore this GWM Haval Jolion HEV DHT Supreme. If you like Chinese car reviews and content, then you're in the right place. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. The standard model of this Haval Jolion comes in at 1,188,000 pesos. And this hybrid model of the Haval Jolion is priced at 1,588,000 pesos. This unit comes with a 7-inch instrument cluster, 12.3-inch infotainment display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Bluetooth system. Six speakers, leather seats, leather steering wheel, steering tilt adjustment, However, wala pa itong telescopic adjustment at the moment. 18-inch wheels at panoramic sunroof. This video is brought to you by CS Films Nano Ceramic Tint with advanced nanotech and ceramics for superior heat, UV, and glare reduction. You can contact them on Facebook. Meron itong 1.5 liter gasoline engine at electric motor that makes it a hybrid. This Jolion charges the battery when you press the brake. Kapag nag-brake ka, it uses the energy and it captures into electricity that powers the motor. But this type of hybrid uses more gas than a plug-in hybrid. We've been driving this car for almost a week and we got 18 to 20 kilometers per liter sa highway drive. Sa city naman, around 14 to 15 kilometers per liter. The Jolion Hybrid looks so good. However, I'm not a fan of the big Haval logo sa harap. If you're wondering, Great Wall Motors is the parent company and Haval is the subsidiary brand of GWM. I like the grille and the headlights. It carries a modern element. Noon, sa China lang ako nakakita ng ganitong klaseng design ng headlight. Sobrang modern. Meron din itong blue lines giving us the indication that this is their hybrid variant. Sa likod, you can see the massive Haval logo. The inside is as good as the outside dahil premium looking ang interior nito. The seats are really comfortable and the support is also good. Meron din itong mga textured patterns sa dashboard. Napansin ko na kapag GWM, talagang maganda at clear ang infotainment screen. Yes, meron itong mga plastics, pero lahat naman ng cars may plastic sa interior, di ba? Pagdating sa interior, practical ito with enough storage area sa harap at sa second row. Marami din itong USB ports. One thing I like is ang space at comfort nito sa second row seats. Sa cargo space, meron itong enough space para sa luggage or bag mo. If that's not enough, Fold mo lang ang second row seats and you'll get more space. This car is very safe. Meron itong HD cameras that help you park safely. The things that I really like are the lane keep assist and blind spot warning. Kapag mag-signal ka at may sasakyan sa likod or malapit sa'yo, it will give you a warning. Na-experience din namin while backing up, may kotse biglang dumaan at nag-auto brake din siya. What a nice feature! If you're really sound sensitive, maririnig mo rin when it's in EV mode or kung naka-on ang engine niya. Especially if biglang mag-on ang engine when it's time for it to help the EV motor. The good thing, ang acceleration and speed, like the GWM H6, I have no problem and no complaints with overtaking. The acceleration is really good. That's because you have plenty of torque from the electric motor and sa engine. Smooth ang ride at komportable sa front or kahit sa second row. The other thing is the size. This Jolion has a good size for parking and going around tight space. Para siyang small SUV, hindi sobrang laki at hindi rin sobrang liit. Mga points na I think pwede pang ma-improve. First, ang steering wheel. Wala itong telescopic adjustment. Pangalawa, the transition from electric motor to petrol engine isn't that smooth. Personally, I can hear it and I can feel it every time magpapalit siya from EV mode to hybrid mode. 
The Haval Jolion is covered by an 8-year or 200,000 km bumper-to-bumper warranty. It is also a very good offer, especially if you're buying your brand new car. It's a good-looking car. It's practical. Moreover, it is safe. Samahan mo pa ng 7 years warranty. I think ito yung mga hinahanap ng potential buyers ng China car. With the price of the Corolla Cross Hybrid na 1,498,000, I think hindi pa ganun ka-competitive ang price ng Jolion HEV. Jolion is about 100,000 more. Of course, kung hybrid lang ang usapan, karamihan, Toyota ang choice. Pero ang Haval Jolion kasi ay full with features and safety, kaya ito medyo pricey. We would like to thank GWM Philippines for letting us drive and experience this car. And if you like more China car reviews and insights, please subscribe and give us a like. See you on our next episode.